In this video, I will show you how to create group in crystal report and how to display it in the full screen mode and the uh, center screen mode. If you see the video is helpful, please subscribe and comment. Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to create group in crystal report in SQL C sharp. Go to the toolbox, take a button control. From the toolbox and uh, change the text of this button control. Uh, text is load report and change the font size to display perfectly. Uh, size is 11 and the uh, font bold is true. Okay. Now uh, my form design is uh, uh, half done. This is the button click event where I will add code. Go to the solution explorer, add new item. Uh, in the left side, uh, select reporting. This is the crystal report. Name the crystal report. I just named it crystal report group. Click on the add button. Okay. Uh, crystal report is a bit done. Now select the database. Expand the, the database. Expand the DBO. Expand the view. This is my view. Cell info view. Just click and Select next arrow to finish. Okay, this is the field explorer where I added uh, view exist. This is the print number. You can keep it or you can have, uh, delete it. Okay, expand the view. Add a text object. Sorry, add a group. The product ID. Our base group uh, group name is uh, product ID. This is the option. I will uh, describe it later. Just click OK. Our group is created. See that this is the group header and this is the group footer. Now I will work in the header and footer to end details also. Take a text object. Group name, uh, group name is group one name. Text object text is product ID. And the second text, I just copy paste. Uh, text is product name. In the second control will be second value will be uh, product name. Okay. Uh, yes, I just place it in perfect place. Now paste that text object. You can keep it in uh, the group header or page header. If you uh, use it in page header, each page the header will display. If you place it in report header, it will display in the first first page. If you uh, place it in the group header, it will display in the each group. Okay. Uh, I just uh, describe you the difference of the group header, page header, and report header. Uh, I just uh, put the text is cell info center. Okay bold ok this is the heading now I am gonna add a stock value and reorder level value it will display in the he header header section because the value will uh, according to the value uh, the sale info will display in the detail section this is the header section header section will display in single time of each group stop okay it placed perfectly see that now I am gonna change the back color of this uh, group color is uh, uh, back color is I just select the back color it, uh, you can change the color uh, of the control as you wish ok take a reorder level control and a text ob object also change the text of the text name text reorder label role reorder reorder label means uh, when the uh, when the stock come to the reorder level value it will display the reorder level it's need to uh, reorder again now i'm gonna add the value in the details control details section where it will display the details uh, uh, as list 
okay underline false to display perfectly you can you can keep underline or you can also uh, uh, remove underline from th from there okay I already added the value in the detail section drag and drop to arrange the value in the report <coughs> okay guys now I'm gonna create a table to create table insert line to create table in this in the crystal report uh, you cannot uh, drag or drop or add table you should may prefer you should make table by line see that I just uh, uh, I just added line and just copy paste the line how to add line insert line and just uh, draw the line with this fan you know this, uh, the uh, pencil like a pencil a pencil like on a display just put and drag it with mouse click don't put out the mouse click okay okay then now our have a group header and page header app and detail section already done now i'm gonna uh, add a uh, value in the group footer preferred by now our report is ready and i'm showing you how to display in it in windows form okay preferred by this is the signatory for signatory uh, preferred by okay I arranged it you know nicely you can arrange it as you wish and uh, with color etc etc now I'm gonna add a code see that this is my code crystal report oh our crystal report name is crystal report group so rename it as crystal report group okay C R equal to new crystal report group uh, you see that uh, I copy paste uh, multiple time I copy paste because to reducing the time don't mind please uh, if I write it uh, for <coughs> everything uh, the video will be longer that's why okay this is our connection string con dot configuration of the connection this is our SQL statement a string SQL you select a star from cell info hello okay data set d is equal to uh, I already describe it in my first video hmm, part one uh, this is the <laughs> you can see the crystal report viewer one uh, displaying an error uh, just uh, drag and drop the crystal report viewer from the toolbox okay now it's just added this is the crystal report viewer where you design crystal report will display okay now the error erased error is solved just debug wow finally you see that our crystal report is already created and see that there is a it's segregated with group one one is one group two is two group see that here is an error a table is not created perfectly now i'm gonna uh, rectify the table just uh, you should uh, you should rectify it with group footer two then it will be uh, it will display a perfect table debug again okay load report super excellent see that header footer now you see that uh, in the cell price uh, all value not displayed perfectly because why because the text is text text length is larger than text object text object is smaller than text uh, text value that's why if you uh, research the text just a bit max okay research the text it will be uh, displayed perfectly okay just debug load report okay now see that no error occurred it displayed perfectly now I'm gonna show you new phase after how to display one group in a single page second group will display in the next page this is the uh, group header just right click and group expert go to the group expert option click on the option in the option select check the new page after if you check the new page after in each page have a one group I mean one the product ID one will display in the one page and two product ID will display in the second page see that 
in the one page first page is only one product id second page to third page see that i just uh, uh, so click next next and the, the product ID. see that the group the achieve view one two three okay Now in the group, I go to the group expert option. I just de de check. I will uncheck the checkbox new page after. Now see that what happened. Okay, load report. See that in single page, all group is displayed in a single place, single pages. Now I'm gonna uh, to design it. I'm gonna add a box right click and uh, add a box this is the box to display perfectly that this is one group and this is the second group you can use it uh, you can use it or you can not to display perfectly okay okay you can see that the one group to a second group third group with just using box how to display report in full screen now i'm going to show you how to display report in full screen Change the windows state in maximized button click event. Move this code in the uh, though I am uh, displaying the report in the full screen, so I don't use any control. I will de delete the control, uh, button control, just delete the button control. And when I debug it, it will display the report. That's why I delete, delete the button control. Uh, click on the Arrow and dock in parent container. Click on the dock in parent container. When you click on the dock in parent container, it will display uh, in the full screen. See that in the full screen, report is now displaying in the full screen. Okay, I think you understand how to how do I do it. This is the full screen mode and all the TV or group G also here by clicking the group G you can see your uh, uh, report just select in normal okay now it's in normal mode see that it's normal not maximized you can maximize it minimize it whatever you want you can do it in the windows form application <laughs> 